Hi Aquarius, so I was prompted to do another reading for you guys. Um, this is another love reading because if the other one didn't resonate for you, um, then hopefully this one will, I don't know. Um, all links are below. Go to the website, book your own reading there. Let's get into it. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. This reading, again, is about a battle, okay? Um, how you're coming into the reading, Aquarius, is the Five of Swords. I don't know, you know, in meditation, before I even started any of the readings, I was meditating on, I don't know, they brought to my mind the Five of Swords and when the Five of Swords is good, when it's good to see the Five of Swords, when it's good to be in the Five of Swords energy. The only reason I could think of when it is good to be in the Five of Swords energy you know, it's when you are being bullied, intimidated, um, when you need to fight back, okay? The Five of Swords talks about serious conflict, and maybe that's what you have between you and another person, okay? Um, you felt defeated and maybe even taken advantage of, so you struck back with your words because this is, um, this is Scorpio, okay? And the planet is Pluto. So it is about, you know, that harsh judgment and, and uh, words. Um, some of you want it to be right. And you are, and you were right in whatever approach you took. This card talks about sharpening your words too here. It's like you took a calculated risk in this battle, knowing that, Look, I'm going to lose as much as they lose in this, but I have to say what I need to I have to say what I have to say. You know, I can't hold this in any longer. You just know that the relationship is in jeopardy. Okay. Um, this was a hard battle. You know, this was hard for you to do. You knew that if you said these things, if you went this far, the relationship could be, you know, not recoverable. Um, you kind of lost faith in this and you keeping your distance also it's just altogether bad blood between you and somebody else it could have been for some of you self-sabotaging behavior but at the same time it, for some of you on the flip side of that especially with me meditating on the five of swords before i started reading and, it, and the question was when is the five of swords good when is it good to show up in the five of swords type of energy it's when you need to fight back. It's when you feel like you have been taken advantage of. You need to sharpen your words. You understand the weight of your of the consequences of you going here. And some of you went there. You said, I mean, you said it all. You went from the top to the bottom with somebody. You know, you just went in. Um, and it could have been that somebody was a player, playboy, playgirl. They were taking you for a grant for taking you for granted, taking advantage of you, taking advantage of your good nature, of your, your kind heart. And I think you showed them a flip side because a true Aquarius only has two sides, either really good or really not good. So I think they got the other side of the Aquarius. Um, this person was too flighty, too in and out, too, too playful. And, um, you know, in the event, sometimes when you play too much, another person can feel like they are being taken advantage of. Okay, like, you know, the other person has the advantage and they have to gain it. And the only way they can gain that advantage is, you know, defeating, you know, the other person. Knowing that we may never talk again or it may never be the same, but still I have to stand up for myself because this card talks about fighting back, standing up for yourself, overcoming obstacles serious conflict between you and someone else your person is coming into the reading as a seven of pentacles okay um so they're they're waiting i don't know if this turned them on in some in some fashion i just got that that maybe you would say these things to them that you would stand up to them like this but they're waiting okay they understand that there's going to be a period of inactivity or we're y'all not coming together you're not talking you're not seeing each other you're just not seeing eye to eye but they're waiting because they feel like they've invested a lot in you or with you or in this relationship and they feel like there's a lot that you bring to the table also you're you're a great investment of a person to have in their life therefore they're waiting for this to turn around okay 
they're frustrated with the process and what, how things have progressed, but they're willing to see it through to the end. So that tells me that your person doesn't feel like this is the end. You may have felt like this was the end, Aquarius, but then your person doesn't feel like this is the end with the Seven of Pentacles showing up. The advice for you, Aquarius, is the Magician card. Um, interesting because the Magician um, is Mercury, okay, and it, it moves quickly. So, and, and the Magician card talks about a very powerful masculine energy, powerful man, ego, intellect, golden opportunity. So something... I don't know. The, the advice is that look, there might be some opportunity for you to kind of come from the five of swords type of energy. And that's communication too. It's lack of communication too right now. But um, this is communication too. Maybe you're going to go from tearing something down to building it up with the magician here. If, the, if you want this person back, if you want the connection, if you want to recover this, if you don't, it's not for you, right? It says that be de determined, resourceful, creative, you know, um, and, and if you want this person back, okay, um, it looks like you have the upper hand now. You wanted it and you have it now. It says that um, this type of power that the magician yields, it can make one conceited or maybe even a know-it-all. Just remember that true power comes from the divine, guys. So if you feel powerful, know that you've been blessed with that and, and, and thank whatever or whomever you believe in for that blessing. Also, this says look deeper and don't be um, swayed by smooth talkers or somebody whose presence is commanding power, okay? Um, you may get some bright flash of inspiration um, where you just feel like, even if this is looking like an impossible situation, you feel like it's possible. And that's the advice here. Go forward. You're the magician. He rules language. He is the quintessential salesman or saleswoman. You can bring this back if you want to. And it looks like somebody's waiting for you to do it. The outcome here is the Ten of Swords. So this is directly related to the Wheel of Fortune, which the Wheel of Fortune is the Ten, which then reduces to a One which is the magician. So it's like, look, you can bring this situation to um, a close. Maybe the toughness and the, the, the rough, uh, yeah, the tough and the roughness of this uh, relationship can come to a close. And the only way it, it can come to that close is with you bringing it there, Aquarius, um, some powerful ending. You can heal this by way of what you say. You can heal these deep wounds that maybe you caused or somebody else inflicted could be a Gemini that you're dealing with also. Somebody was coming from ego. Something happened around the June months, okay? This also talks about falling just before the finish line. Something is not over, okay? And something was exaggerated here, maybe here. Um, there is someone now playing the victim, maybe seeking attention, wanting you to chase after them. It talks about breakups and separation. And again, somebody playing the victim and being overly dramatic. Somebody needs to come to terms with a breakup too. And maybe you will. Maybe after your attempt, you will come to terms with this, this breakup. You know, maybe somebody feels like this was an abusive relationship, either verbally, physically. I don't know. Um, there is collapse. There's bitterness either between you is between the both of you or from them or to you I don't know um, this could be goodbye rock bottom somebody's done okay because there's too much violence maybe somebody feels like you they are your punching bag or vice versa you feel this way about them someone feels like um, they could be bad mouthing you or you bad mouthing them there is a, a severing of ties here I'm gonna pull one more card for you guys, um, I see the death card. It might be really over, okay? You might just need to go look for new opportunities. This is over. You know, it's just not going to be recoverable here. What is the Ten of Swords, Lord God? What is the Ten of Swords? Maybe either you want forgiveness or you want you want to get back on a better, and back in better standing, um, even if it's not that you guys come back together all together. You know, Ten of Swords. What is the Ten of Swords? Yeah, wow. And I said that too, the Wheel of Fortune. 
um, something could be over. You know, what is it? What is the the will of fortune? What is it over? The Queen of Cups. All right, so you could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is fixed energy. Scorpio, Aquarius, woman, feminine energy. Um, it could be over. It's something about fate and destiny here. I don't know if the fates could bring this back because again, your person doesn't feel like it's over. They just may be at a place of heartbreak, um, heartache and dealing with this. They could be crying. Maybe you made them cry, but the two of swords here talks about healing, forgiveness, healing severed ties. Um, for some of my Aquarius who wonder if, if this relationship recoverable, will they recover the relationship will the relationship be recovered the four of swords it's a make it or break it time here okay it could be recovered uh, it looks like somebody is detached from their heart you know they're they're in their mind right now um and right now they feel like it's over it's done they don't want this back um could be dealing with a libra there's too much conflict here um the relationship could return back to normal. Just focus your energy. It is, once again, a make it a break of time in a relationship. It's just a need for you guys to take a break. And this is sometimes temporary. Yeah, it's temporary because it's not in the reverse. Um, somebody shift in their focus from the external to the internal. So they're thinking about, you know, moving forward. It's just a trial that maybe your relationship is going through. It's some chaos. There's a need for a relaxation and just maybe taking a break, a vacation from each other. There's also a need for somebody to, to tie up loose ends here and stabilize something so they can get ready for the future, so they can have peace here. So and I don't know if that's you, Aquarius, or the other person, or the both of you need to do this in two different aspects of your life. Maybe this other person had someone else, and maybe this is what, and what you found out, and maybe this is why you flew off the handle. Um, maybe you need to go tie up how you deal with conflict, you know, um, was this the best way? I don't know. The other person needs to go tie up loose ends in terms of other people. If they really want you, there's a lot of stress and feeling overwhelmed and exhausted here. Um, somebody is just overly stimulated in their mind right now. They just need to stop and take a break. Um, yeah, somebody feels like they need to eliminate the triggers. It could be you, Aquarius. You need to eliminate this person as a trigger or vice versa. This is how they feel about you. And somebody is this, you know, um, yeah, they need to, so somebody feels like I need to eliminate the, tr the trigger instead of ignoring it. And that's right. You don't just ignore triggers. You get rid of them. Okay. Somebody feels like they just need to take a, a mental health break altogether. Seriously. Okay. And um, there is withdrawing because um this this has gone bad okay um somebody's having difficulty on an emotional level greatly okay um but somebody wants to heal the severed tie and call a truce but the other person has to be willing so aquarius this is your reading i hope that it resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question you can text your question to the number below, pay for your question, and then receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. If you took something from the reading, you can always give back. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.